So in this video, we're gonna show you how to make popcorn balls. The first thing that I do, Chris, is I start the butter to melt. I turn the burner on low and get the butter put in the pan. And it's just a stick and a half? Yeah. <laughs> it could only happen to me. <laughs> uh, it's funny, just in the car a little bit too long maybe. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we have our stick and a half of butter um, on low. So the next thing we're gonna start adding are some marshmallows. So how many marshmallows do we usually add? I use about a package and a half. Yeah, it takes a little while. So, I mean, I just leave this set in the pan and then I start popping the popcorn. Today I'm using the Orville Redendocker popcorn, but normally I use Jolly Time. I wasn't able to find it right now, but um, I like the Jolly Time because the kernels get, are larger and it works better, I believe. But anything really works. We'll start our... And this one starts like right away when you plug it in. And every once in a while, of course, we want to make sure that we're stirring kind of this butter um, and marshmallow mixture here on the stove. So for this recipe of a stick and a half of butter and a bag and a half of marshmallows, we want to use approximately um, three quarters of a cup of the popcorn kernels to make enough popcorn to make approximately eight popcorn balls. So basically we're just gonna keep stirring this until it gets to a smoother consistency where you don't see the marshmallow shapes. Yeah, it'll get just like a marshmallow cream. You really can't feel this recipe. I think it's about ready. Okay, so this is about the consistency it is. And I just take and pour some in. Then I stir this in here and I start mixing. For different occasions, I'll color the popcorn. I'll save some of it out and then color some of it. I add a little salt here and there too. And I put peanuts in here and uh, you could put chocolate chips or whatever. Now I can add the rest of it in here. Okay. This, this looks about right. So. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing to know. We used um, real salted butter for this recipe. Yes, I've tried just using margarine and they don't taste. Just not the same. No, <laughs> <laughs> everything's better with butter. <laughs> so. so the point of this is just to kind of get your hands so it doesn't yes. stick to the to popcorn the, quite as much. And I'll see if they're ready, if they'll stick yet. Sometimes you have to wait. No, they'll, they'll stick now. Cool. Sometimes you have to wait, you know, and let the cream cool before it'll stick together. Now you can make any size. We could make a bunch of these or make a few Just make ones. a gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> so once these are formed into the balls, how long do you have to let them sit before you package them, do you say? I usually do it as soon as I'm done. I'll start packaging the first ones that I made. Okay, so they kind of firm and kind yes. of harden pretty fast. Because if you leave them set out, they want they dry out very fast. It's funny, it takes quite a little butter on your hands too, or if yeah. else they just want to. Just don't want to let go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so fun making popcorn balls with my grandson. I was gonna say, it's like, this is the first time because we've never seen how you make them. Yeah. I think I need a little bit more butter. And I started making them out of desperation because I had been working and I didn't get to the store for treats for the kids. So I was trying to think of what to 
what I had in the house I could give out apples or popcorn and then I thought popcorn balls and so I made some and it just kind of grew I didn't make them the next year and then the kids were so disappointed they said oh we thought we were going to get popcorn <laughs> balls at your house so it just started it became a tradition so then we found these cute little treat bags at Dollar Tree. So this is what we're going to use to put the popcorn balls in. So these Dollar Tree treat bags, they are really cute, but you have to be quite careful with them or um, the handles kind of break pretty easily. The treat bags that come with twist ties are ones we prefer, but this early in the season for when we're making these, this video, um, this was kind of what was available at the moment. But the ones that we did get closed are pretty cute and they are only a dollar for 15. So even if a couple break, um, they're still pretty cute. And that's how easy it is to make popcorn balls. Mm -hmm. 